Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here. Well, I guess you all have heard the sad news because on Saturday, September 27th, 2014, which is tomorrow, um, CW's uh, Bortex, which is part of Saban Brands that, that owns the Saturday morning lineup, is going to be showing its last broadcast. Because next week, it's going to be replaced by more educational programming. Yeah, such a shame. Because so far, so good. Even though I don't really watch CW that much, they did have some good shows on here, including the new Digimon Fusion, which is already on Nicktoons. But it actually looks a lot better when they play it on Saturday morning. Kind of reminds me of the day when Fox Kids used to play Digimon all the time. Because it was one of my favorite shows. Man, growing up uh, as a teenager. Man. But uh, yeah, and so far it was it was going great. I just hope that this show does get a, a Blu-ray or DVD release someday. I hope it does because it's really awesome. It reminds me that it really takes you back to those days. But growing up in the 80s and 90s, I always did enjoy watching Saturday morning cartoons. Especially um, all the classic cartoons like Transformers, you know, Thundercats, Silverhawks, DuckTales, Inspector Gadget, Haber and his Ernest, Peavy's Playhouse. Pobbles, yeah. also the Smurfs, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe, Macaulay Knights, The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show, Dungeons and Dragons, Dennis the Menace, yeah, even the Jetsons was on there too, and the Flintstones. And they, they play a lot of classic shows here, and they play a, tons of great cartoons that I grew up with. Yeah, and there's also Gummy Bears, too, and Punky Brewster, yeah, they had a cartoon. And, yeah, The Littlest, and, yeah, and then Tiny to the Ventures, Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, Tasmania, Batman. And yeah, and Heathcliff and all the rest. <laughs> and usually their Saturday morning box always ranges from 6 a.m. or sometimes 7, no matter what you choose, to, to 12 p.m. Or it could be 2 p.m. As, as some stations would carry it. You never know. It's always a good time to watch all your favorite shows. They even play a lot of live action stuff too, like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Goosebumps, and all this other stuff that we had. So it, it really did grow up with something like that. And of course, I, I already had mentioned Hey Burn is Ernest and Pee Wee's Playhouse. And Paul Rubin says Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I, I really miss all these classic shows. It's just sad that all of your favorite shows are no longer with us. And already we had so many cable networks that played them, but sadly they're, they're not even on TV anymore. They've been on DVD already and, and Blu-ray, um, but some of them were pretty hard to find. Although I did manage to get some of the good ones already in my collection. And I hope I continue to get more of that. Yeah, and of course there's also Reboot and all this other stuff, but you get the idea. But yeah, I mean, it's always been one of my biggest uh, topics that I always enjoy growing up as a kid. Every time I always tune in to, to all my favorite shows, I always grab a bowl of cereal you know, with chocolate milk and all that. And I always sit down along with my brother Jason and even my sister Eileen and we just we just sit on the tube and watch all of our favorite shows. Yeah. We, we watch, it's like, it's on every single network 
and CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox, the WB, UPN, um, and syndication as well because they, they play this all the time. Yeah. Not only that, you know, we had weekday mornings and afternoons of cartoons that they played everywhere. It, it was awesome. I never get tired of it. But it's just sad to see it go. And that's the problem. You know, not many people watch educational programming or all this religious stuff or even worse, uh, infomercials. Because to me, I think that this whole thing is boring. Now, it, but it seems like the FCC really wants to accept that crap since all the other cartoons are already on cable networks. Hell, some of them are even on digital channels like Cubo, for instance. I can accept Cubo and and some of the stuff that they play on KCT or something like that, PBS perhaps. But why can't we have another channel that plays classic cartoons 24-7? Because it seems like Cartoon Network, Boomerang, and, and even um, Nickelodeon and Nicktoons are not doing as much. I mean, I'm glad they're still playing cartoons, but I want to see all the classics that I grew up with. I mean, it's good to have them on DVD, but, but don't you be cool if we just watched them, you know, on TV already? It takes you back to the days when we already grew up watching these shows. Yeah, that's what sucks about that. Well, I sure hate to see it go, but let's just hope that no matter what, we'll always remember Saturday morning cartoons of all of our favorite shows we grew up with in any childhood that we all had. Yeah, no matter how old we were at the time, we always enjoyed them. So anyway, that's my report on Saturday morning cartoons already uh, disappearing in front of our eyes. Bye.